When you become a Muslim, take it easy. People are going to tell you, you have to do this, you have to do that. You have to change your name, you have to change your dress, you have to change your friends, you have to do this. That's not true. Just be sincere. Keep this in mind. The Muslims following the Prophet Sallallahu they had two time divisions. One was 13 years in Mecca. And the other 10 years was 10 years in Medina. 13 years character building, mind setting, following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, loving Allah, no regulations in Mecca. 13 years of that. And then it was 10 years in Medina, the regulations, the issues of what to eat, what to wear, about marriage, about this, about that, about the social rules and all those things. Those came in the 10 years of Medina. But people are not dividing it like that. People are just taking the whole thing and just dumping on people. Just like the Quran came in stages, we also, we have to apply and follow and practice and carry the responsibility of Islam in stages. Clean your heart, reform your mind, change your disposition. If you change your behavior to comply to the best of you can to the principles of Islam, the rest will come naturally. SubhanAllah, everybody's talking about Andrew Tate becoming Muslim. Now, some people are hating, some people are excited. Either way, there is some good when celebrities become Muslim. Because this opens up people's hearts, it opens up people's minds to the possibility of becoming Muslim. Maybe they weren't thinking about religion, but they see their hero is now worshiping God. They consider it for themselves as well. Kind of remind you of the Sahabi Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad radiallahu anhu. No, there's no comparison between the two, obviously, because it's Sahabi. But when Sa'ad became Muslim, he told his whole tribe, he said, I am now Muslim, and unless you become Muslim, I will never talk to you again. And so his people became extremely curious. They come ask him about it. By the end of the day, his whole tribe became Muslim except for one guy. So there is some benefit, and Allah brings people to Islam in all different ways. So may Allah keep him on Islam. Now that you've entered the fold of Islam, don't become overwhelmed by the statements of everyone. You have to do this. You must do this. You've got to cover today. You've got to do this today. You've got to pray five times a day. You've got, yes, they, they may be right. But do you know what? Sometimes too many people telling you too many things right at the beginning is only a sign of their love and concern. They don't realize they may overwhelm you. Take it in your stride, a step at a time. Move at your pace. Don't worry. Move at your pace. You've learned the pillars of Islam, you know the pillars of Iman, you know the basics, I'm sure you've learned cleanliness and how to pray. You may not know all the surahs and all of that uh, in the Arabic language yet, no problem. You can slowly put into practice as you learn, but make an effort to learn. And then, like I said in the previous video, if something is not sitting well with you, perhaps it might be wrong, or maybe there might be another opinion, or perhaps it might not be authentic, or maybe there might be an explanation about it, and maybe you might be wrong. So ask and keep asking. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَالزُّبُرِ If you're not sure, ask those who have knowledge. Uh, those who have knowledge of revelation and they will guide you correctly inshallah so my brothers and sisters welcome to islam like i said it's submission unto allah it's a beautiful faith of discipline worshiping allah alone being the best human being you can with the greatest of character and we do so in accordance with the teachings of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him don't let people make you believe that you need to start hating everyone, you need to start hurting people, you need to be abusive towards others. Absolutely not. That is the furthest from the truth. So, yes, we dislike that which is wrong, but people on the globe will be following all sorts of things. People will believe you are wrong and you will believe that others are wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. You do believe they are wrong, but... Respectfully, you should try to maintain a decent communication so that you can teach them perhaps. Let them see the beauty of Islam. I'm sure if your family was very supportive of your decision to turn to Islam, you're lucky. But very few are lucky because it's a major decision. I don't expect everyone to be excited about it. Especially nowadays when Islam is looked at by masses as this faith that is going to be filled with violence and hate. And that's not true. You and I know it's not true. So you need to make sure you portray the correct image of Islam by fulfilling the rights of those who supported you as well as those who didn't support you. 
from among your family members, your neighbors, your friends. Some will leave you. They'll abandon you. Don't worry. They abandoned the Prophet, peace be upon him. They've abandoned everyone who turned in the right direction. In fact, I can give you a piece of information. Do you know that a lot of Muslims who are not practicing abandoned their friends who grew up with them for years on end when they start practicing? So that's just a sign of, uh, you know, that which is unfortunate. <laughs> It's Allah who chooses what or where people stand. So take it in your stride. Be good to people. Try your best. If, if you need to step back, you may at a point where it's becoming toxic. But remember, fulfill the rights of your parents even more in an even greater way. Serve them. Reach out to them. Be kind to them. Find out about them. They will quickly realize you are a much better person than you were. And this is what happens in the case of a lot of people. Over time, the parents and family members begin to appreciate and realize. And then talk to them, explain to them, listen, I love you guys, a different love, meaning we're family. So to love as a family is different love. The love of your mother is different from that of your spouse and that of your brother and that of others. The love of a fellow Muslim is different. The love of uh, Allah is very different. The love of the messenger is very different as well. So all these levels of love we speak about, you need to know them. So when someone says you can't love your mother or father if they're not Muslim, that's not true. That, that love, filial love or the love of children or parents is something put in your heart by Allah. Even the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, loved his family members who were not Muslim, who were close to him and helped him and served him, his grandfather, his uncle and so on. Uh, these people work very close to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but they were not Muslim. So what do we expect? I mean, he didn't hate them. It was only those who drove him away uh, or drove the Muslims out of their houses and those who were nasty and so on that a natural dislike happens to uh, come in the, or, or to be felt towards them. It's a natural dislike. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. So Point number one of this video is not to become overwhelmed by everybody. Understand it's their love, but take it in your stride. You have your own steps, move in your own direction. And then don't fall into the squabbles of others. There'll be a lot of people, don't listen to this one, that one's astray, this one's astray. No, 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 no. You, you, Allah guided you to know Islam from kufr, you know, belief from disbelief, for example. He will surely guide you towards what is right and the balanced faith of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's evidence-based. That's what we believe. Someone wants to do something, well, why are you doing this? And then listen to the explanation. Allah's given you a brain to process that. He's not going to ask you beyond your understanding and capacity. La yukallifu Allahu nafsan illa us'aha. That verse has deep meaning. Allah will not burden a soul with more than they can shoulder. And what that would also mean is if Allah has given you a certain capacity, he's not going to hold against you beyond that capacity, even that of understanding. If this was your understanding and you really felt that this is it, uh, do you expect Allah to punish you when you really tried very, very hard to do the right thing? So it's good to listen to people. One of the mistakes that some people make nowadays is they say, don't listen to this one, don't listen to that one. And other people say, don't listen to this one. So the reverts get confused. So who do we listen to? Because everyone's telling us not to listen to everyone. Try to select people who don't talk about others, but rather they teach you what's right and wrong. And if they do talk about others, excuse them. Don't, don't listen on that matter. But everything else, okay, I can take. Because they are human. They make mistakes. This is a mistake. You find a lot of people think they know a lot. And the same people 10 years later will hold different opinions that are more uh, flexible, more relaxed, based on environment, based on so many factors. Because Islam, yes, there are certain things that don't change and won't change. But there are certain things that are connected to your environment. They're connected to the urf and the ada. Certain things, meaning the, the, the norms of society and community and so on. There are certain things connected to that. You need to learn what are these things. You're still new in Islam. So don't get so excited. And sometimes because we want guidance for everyone, we start belittling others. We start swearing and shouting. And we start becoming uh, very arrogant. But you're just a revert. You've barely been a Muslim for a few days or months or a year. And you know, you're getting so vulgar. You're getting so abusive. You should be showing the beauty of Islam. And I'm not saying compromise your faith. No, don't. But be kind 
and learn and keep learning. A day will come when you realize all the harshness that was coming in my direction was actually not what I ultimately follow now. Subhanallah. May Allah Almighty guide us all and give us goodness.